<coughs> there. Is my voice back to normal? Oh, thank goodness it's back. Cecil, you've heard me talk without my mask on before. Why are you freaking out? You really only take it off to eat, so I just thought that that was your voice when your mouth was full or something. That mask honestly doesn't fit me very well, so it's always pressing against my throat. Taking it off makes me sound a little different for a bit. That's all. Then why wear it in the first place? Well, it's the only thing I have to remember my parents by. They gave it to me a long time ago before they passed. Oh, I see. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, but it's fine now. Just make sure you take good care of it while we're away. Okay, Ander? Wowie wow! This mask is great! I can't feel any ouchies at all! What are you doing? Man, I just struck gold! I can't believe the Sneaky Gun is here! It's strange, though. The boss that told us he was dead. But those shadow powers that he showcased in his fight seem like the real deal. I just gotta get my hands on that mask! You taking every single souvenir and sneaky gun mask you see on this island today. They really need this one too. Are you kidding me? If he's the real deal, do you know how much my sneaky gun collection would rise in value after I got my hands on his? I'll never understand your obsession with this stuff. Oh, come on! You're a pretty big Stinky Gun fan yourself, right? Don't even try to compare me to you and your strange desires. Why not? We're not all that different, you know. Okay, listen. If you go over there and get yourself caught in a bad situation, none of us will come to your aid. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, I know. That's perfectly fine with me. And you know, if you jeopardize our mission, we'll both be on the boss's bad side, right? Right, yeah, okay, I'm going in. Are you serious right now? <sighs> Ow! What was that for? You really need to work on your patience. Just wait until the plan kicks into motion to do this. Huh? But it's right there! Look, you'll have plenty of opportunities to make a stunt once this chaos ensues. If you ruin this for us, I'll kill you before the boss gets a chance to. Now let's go. Okay, fine. So, Mr. Sizzle, how did you manage to switch back with the other you? Wasn't there supposed to be a time limit or something? Oh, right. I have Link to thank for that. Really? What happened? And where is he? He showed up to the restaurant where the other me was planning on eating, and it ended up with him voluntarily switching with me because of how annoyed he was getting with Link. <laughs> well, it's good to have you back. For another six hours. Hey, that's better than nothing. Plus, soon you'll be your own person again. Right. I'm totally going to be the dominant personality. I mean, hey, I was in full control of this body for years for a reason, right? Man, just how serious is this poop dilemma of yours? Cecil. Yeah? What's up, man? I guess this is as good as a time to tell you that I'm really sorry about not believing you. I just feel so horrible about- Oh, that? It's fine. I know how ridiculous it must have sounded. Just try to keep an open mind next time, okay? I- Come on, don't sweat it. We'll get through this just fine, so just stop acting like that. You're bumming me out. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you're right. This is just another speed bump. Exactly. Leon tells me that you may even need to fight for your life in order to get this treatment done. Medical practices sure can be strange. Oh yeah, speaking of fighting, shouldn't you also take my weapon too? Shouldn't you keep it in case you do have to fight? Eh, I don't really need it to be honest. I just took it and started using it because I liked its name. The KEY! Oh, well, if that's the case, hand it over. There you go. Hmm, this is... Cecil, where did you get this hockey stick? Oh, I got it from some guy I fought in the death game. Why? This hockey stick. It is made of wood I have never come in contact with before, and... On top of that, it also has something else. What do you mean? It has some other property to it. Something I can't quite put my finger on. Either way, I feel you should keep it. Why? You're talking to a master woods craftsman. I'll easily summon a table made out of the very same wood as your hockey stick now, and make my own from it. Whoa, you can do that? 
Mahogany men can do all. <laughs> we should probably head out now then, right Cecil? Yeah, the earlier we start heading out, the better. Oh, good call Talon. Let's get to the ship, guys. I just can't get over having this ship. Man, Leon, I can't thank you enough. Thank me? Sizzle, this is the least I could do for what you did for me and Talon by defeating Yugos. Oh yeah, that. Well, you heard from the other me earlier that it was really him that did it. So that was true after all? Yeah. I had to let him take over because I knew I wasn't strong enough. Honestly, I didn't even think I was going to be here right now. What are you talking about? I've always had this feeling that I shouldn't let the other me out 100%, but I just assumed that it was because if I did, he'd take over my body forever. I was really happy when I switched back to being in control after that. What? So what you're saying is... As much as I hate the guy, the other me's right. He's the one who saved you guys. Sizzle. That's... Next time, it'll be all me, though. Got that? Um... Yeah... R right. Heh. <laughs> we'll hold you to that. Good. Now let's set sail! Hey, Mr. Sizzle. You up? We're here at Hospice Port. Oh, are we? Perfect. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, it's you again. Glad you're finally starting to pick up on how to tell which one of us is which. <laughs> so, here's the rundown. Because we don't know where exactly the buildings are, we'll go around pretending to be beggars. As we collect some coins here and there, what we'll really be doing is listening to the conversations of passerbyers, all in the hopes that we'll find some sort of useful information on how to find our destination. Short and simple. That's such a stupid... Completely idiotic. We can just ask for directions instead of having to go through all of that trouble. You don't know what you're talking about, right Mr. Talon? Y yeah Leon. What I was going to say is that your plan is such a stupidly awesome idea. An idea that totally won't fail us. See? Like I said, you don't know what you're talking about. Trust me. I'm a doctor. <sighs> Fine. Do what you want. You can count me out of it. Uh... Um... Leon... Don't worry, Talon. We're more than enough for this plan to work out. I think I have some tattered clothes around here somewhere. This is ridiculous. Wait, hold! What's up? Do you think it's safe to leave this imposter Cecil all alone on this island? Yeah, sure, why not? It's not like he did anything bad on Nice Plaza. Um, well, yeah, but still, I think this is different. How so? We don't have time to waste on this. L let's just go follow him. Uh, all right, wait up. My eye hurts. Where's my eye? What happened here? You were right after all, Talon. We can't trust this guy alone. Don't worry, lady. I'm a doctor. I didn't do this, you idiots. Please, someone find my eye. Honestly, this isn't all that uncommon here on this island. Huh? Just look around. Notice how none of the people around here are even giving her the time of day? Yeah, why is that? You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Here on Hospice Port, there's a certain doctor whose practices are a little... out there. This poor girl must have made an appointment with that doctor and lost her eye in the process. And that doctor's name... is it... Montgomery Case? Bingo! So, you all have heard of him, eh? Talon, this is great! We already have a lead! Wait, don't tell me you're looking for him. Yeah, you see, my brain's a little messed up, and we're hoping he could do something about that. Do you mind pointing us in the direction of where we can find him? Um, you guys do see the woman missing an eye, right? This guy is bad news. I'd say 19 out of every 20 patients he has ends up dead. This woman was one of the lucky ones. <laughs> guess this is just one of those things you gotta put your life on the line for. So, you gonna tell us where he is or what? Fine then, it's your funeral. Go right up the road and then make a right. If you just keep going straight from there, it'll be the building with the red cross on top. Or honestly, you could just follow the girl's blood. Hmm, huh. good point. Okay, let's go you two. I can't just leave this woman suffering here. Like I said, this is normal. 
I'll take her to the right doctor that'll help her out. You go do what you gotta do. Here we are. Yes, hello. Wait, what? You? Um, yes, me. But, but you're the same guy we just talked to. Same guy? I'm so confused. Yeah, no, no idea who or what you're talking about. You're, you're such, such a, a bad, bad liar. liar. <laughs> I fooled you good, didn't I? Yep, that was me earlier. And what was the point of pretending to act like a bystander instead of just telling us who you were? Cause that's no fun! Seriously? So who are you? The guy's assistant? Nope. That'd be me. Um... Huh? Please! Stop my eye! Where, Where did she, she come, come from, from and why does she have, have two eyes? I've been keeping track of you three ever since you got to the waters of the island. That's how the doctor knew to meet you at the port. And you all managed to pass the first trial. Good on ya! Doctor? Then that means... Hey, I'm Dr. Montgomery Case. I hear you're looking for me. 